A little bit of relief, but not for long. Just a small break. A small break. First half of the week, temperatures should come down a little below average to maybe right about some lower 90s. Couple of counties, that being Johnson and Emanuel County heat advisory, just for two in the area until 7 p.m., 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. But uh, as we start moving closer to the 4th of July, the end of the week is going to heat right back up. It looks like Alexander Drive and River Watch Parkways doesn't have too much traffic tying up. Sun just about to rise any moment. 74 outside, a little bit warm. Nice little breeze, 3 to 5 coming in from the north, which will keep in the afternoon mainly from the north at 5 to 10. Heat will be on the rise. We're going to get the chance of afternoon storms once again. Typical summertime setup between midday and five. We'll have that isolated storm chance coming in, but we should top out maybe just at or a little below average. We have some low 90s, but we also have some upper 80s coming in there through this afternoon as we look at the chance for storms. Look at tomorrow. And yeah, the heat is going to start moving back in the general direction of average highs by Wednesday, but upper 80s kind of standing out among the rest. We have that chance for a few pop up storms for the first half of the week, mainly for the afternoons. We're warm up at the lake at 78, 77s from Waynesboro to Bamberg, mid to low 70s, kind of surrounding a 73 to 75. But as we check on rain chances here over the next five days, certainly more and more of an impact as far as measurable rainfall on the coast is where we find uh, much of our rain chances popping up. So today through Wednesday, we're going to have the chance of storms Thursday for the 4th of July. Not really looking at a whole lot of an opportunity there. It'll be very widely scattered into the upcoming weekend. Let's talk about the tropics. We have a major hurricane, still a cat three hurricane barrel moving quickly to the west 20 miles an hour, which is going to stay in the Caribbean. Also moving eventually towards the Yucatan Peninsula in the southern Gulf of Mexico. At least that's the path right now. Does have the potential, though, to gain strength even more, possibly a Cat 4 within the next 24 hours, but about a Cat 2, Cat 3 as it moves closer and closer to the Yucatan by this weekend. So that's something we'll keep our eye on. All right, now it's mainly that cold front from the north that'll sweep down to the south, providing a little bit of a break that we just saw with highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. Here the afternoon chance for showers and storms. Keep in mind, midday into five that general direction mainly coming in north to south but the winds from the northeast five to ten upper 80s to low 90s will stay with 70s for the morning might have a little bit of cloud cover early tuesday morning that moves out of the picture and how about a decent setup this isn't too bad for july to have highs only in the middle to upper 80s so it's only going to be for a short period of time look by the fourth of july the heat is back up into the mid 90s we're going to stay above average through the entire fourth of July weekend. In fact, could be very close to that triple digit mark Friday and Saturday with a few pop up storms for this weekend.